Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. It is single um, LED water level indicator. It's its PCB. And it's a step down. It is a step down transformer. And this is the single single bulb, which indicates the level of the water. Suppose we have water here in a, in a glass of water, and there are five wires in the water in the glass, which indicates the level of the water. No glass is filled. Suppose first wire comes out, so the LED will the bulb blinks three times. Then have a gap. That, that, you know, one, two, three, then gap. One, two, and three. It indicates that the water three wires are in the in the tank. One, just one wire is out of the water. One, two, and three. It gets three. It gets three wires has been emerged in the water. Now let's uh, take second wire out out of the water. Now the bulb will blink twice. One, two, then gap will be there. One, two, then gap. One, two. It, gets, it indicates the water level. Two half water tank is filled, half is empty. This way. Now let's bring the third wire out of the water. This way. Now come water uh, wire becomes out of the water. Now let's look at the bulb. What? Lady bulb one. It means one wire is inside the water. It brings one, then give it there. There's, uh, uh, suppose the water is now empty, water tank is empty because all the sensors are out of the water. Here it brings continuously. It indicates that water level is empty. This way. Let's again. Now, bulb will blinks once. This one, this way. No, the bulb will blinks twice. One. So it is a what microcontroller based water level indicator in which we have used PIC 16 F6 on 6. And next we will uh, explain the C codes, how to write C codes and what will be the simple schematic diagram for it. So let's explain the schematic diagram. Bulb is continuously on, it indicates that uh, water tank has been filled this way. No water tank is filled. This is the schematic diagram. We have a glass of water, a water tank, in which there are four wires are there. One wire is for output has been is output to supply about plus powerful to the water, and out of that four wires are input in which two kilo ohm has a resistance has been connected in a series. We have used microcontroller PIC 16F. 6716 and uh, there is a uh, 10 kilo ohm as an output uh, which is, has been connected to the base of the transistor uh, transistor 2 and triple 2 and uh, 2 2 2 has which is the part number of the transistor and we have used relay 12 volt relay uh, which uh, operates on 12 volt DC and uh, 220 volt uh, 220 volt uh, bulb AC bulb has been attached to the relay which indicates uh, the water level and the power supply there should be step down transformer and uh, you know, rectifier bridge uh, uh, rectifier bridge is must and uh, regular regulator AC 7805 is also necessary for uh, operating the um, powering the microcontroller 
and 12 volt DC is required for operation of the air relay uh, which is easy but uh, this is the schematic diagram um, of this uh, project here single LED working has been explained single LED, LED a bulb water level indicator there are for example five levels when the water tank is uh, when water is in PT water tank is in PT the LED, the bulb will be uh, blinks continuously uh, at RH duty circle will be 50 percent as you can see here this one is the bulb indicator bulb you know when water is below this last wire the LED bulb will be continuously bling, blinks as you have observed in the starting of the video when the, the water rises from the first uh, sensor it will blinks once there will be gap then blinks uh, turn on once then then uh, gap will be there this which indicates that 25 percent water uh, tank has been filled when LED blank blinks twice well when a LED blinks twice uh, and then give us some gap remains off blinks twice then or uh, remains off which is indicates that the water tank has been water tank has been filled up to 50 percent and the same way when the water is above the third wire the third wire has been the sensor has been uh, sewer has been sink the water then the bulb will be blinks thrice and it turns on three times then it will remains off then um, blinks thrice three times and remains off which indicates 75 percent and the last when the water becomes full or 100 percent then the bulb will remains on continuously on there will be no blinking so one single bulb uh, will tell us about five levels mpt 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent 100 percent one two three four five one bulb one bulb indicates the five uh, signals uh, one bulb uh, shows us five state of the water level Maybe in BT 25%, 50%, 75%, or an hundred percent. So now let's see the C codes. How to write C codes with this project? For writing C codes, we need a software uh, which is the MPLAB XIDE, which I have explained, and you can visit my channels how to start uh, C coding for the microcontrollers uh, or channel DCCPN. And we need a, a software MPLAB XID free software and Java XC8 compiler as well as one PIC3 uh, PIC programmer is needed. So, so let's start C codes. Uh, so, starting the C codes, first we need uh, we have to write C codes and the MPLAB, MPLAB XID. Hey, we have to start from configuration. We have to configure it this way. Configuration can be started here. Uh, you have to uh, click on this window window button then configuration configure window now here configuration bit start click here then the configuration bit you will see here configuration bit uh, for FYC you have to click the internal oscillator internal Clock has been used this way. Watch of timer is off. This way becomes off. Power, power up timer enable is off. Master clear is on. So turns off the master clear is off. And this way it is on. Uh, code production is off. Uh, code production of data is off. Generate code this way. Generate it. And we have to copy you have to copy this one copy then paste here this one you have to paste you can get the configuration of the microcontroller for water level indicator and we have to set the crystal frequency this one for megahertz the internal frequency has been used and then we have to define s1 is the uh, S1, S2, S3, S4 are four variables which are inputs, which are the inputs, which are the sensors, which uh, plays the role of the sensor, uh, which have been placed in the water tank. RA0 
uh, we give one name the sensor one R A two sensor two R A R A one sensor two R A two sensor three R C zero is sensor four. Then we have depend a bulb variable for R C three which is used as output. Test is, uh, is used as output. That is the black wire. And this are the other ones as you have seen in the diagram. You can see here. These are the S one S two S three S four. And this one is the R C three I think. No, this one RC1 is used for the test. For testing, we have to apply voltage to the water and we will get input voltage on the in this input voltages. RC2 LED is indicator. Just show that the system is working, which is a green LED. This one is the green LED, we show which is the indicator. We show the system is working this way. Thinking witness and system is working. Now we have to initialize two variables. One will be level, character type variable, other will be number uh, whose initial will be zero. Then we have to spread this main main project's main program. Where the main where is one function is must for the um, uh, pick microcontroller. Then we have to write in cell is equal to zero cross zero, which means all analog pins are digital. Then compare CM configuration. Uh, Comparator configuration is off, will not work without it. Sometimes the, uh, the controller, microcontroller uh, does not work. So we have to write the configuration. Uh, Comparator configuration should be off. We have to write trace A. As pick 16, F6, A1, and 6 has two ports port A, port C. We have to write 0B000111, which indicates that the uh, RA0, RA1, RA2 are input, and RA3, RA4, RA5, and RA6 other are uh, as an output. The trace C, trace C uh, we have to write 1, then 0, 0, 0. This is the binary, uh, binary configuration. Binary numbers has been used. Um, one indicates that RC0 is input, others are outputs. Because RC0 is input. And as you can see here, RC0 is RC0 is an input which is switch for then we have to report A is equal to uh, so we have to initialize is zero both ports are zero then we have to start the while loop while LED is not equal to LED it, and if you read this statement then LED will blinks green LED green LED will blinks it shows that the blinks it shows that system is working or microcontroller is not hang it is working code has been executing code has been going on executing then we have to test one we have to apply voltage to the water test one for 100 microsecond with a short interval of time we have to apply the voltage to the water only 100 microsecond then we have to test the switches S1, S2, S3, and we have to uh, add all three switches. Situation. For example, if switch 1, switch 2, switch 3, switch 4 is 0, then the level will be 0. If all pins are 1, then the level will be 4. And there are 4, then again, the test is equal to 0. We have to stop. So we pass the current for really short interval of time, about 100 microsecond, and to indicate the level of the water. Then we wait 3 seconds. So this is possible only in the microcontroller, not other uh, uh, simple uh, electronics based motor level indicator. You are passing the pipe voltage plus pipe volt very short interval of time so that it produced uh, approximately no bubbles. Uh, so the current passing through the water will be about uh, less than micro 1 to, 3, one to micro ampere. Which produce no electrolysis, no sodium ions, potassium, chlorine ions, no will be not produced in the water. So it will be very safe. This is possible only in the microcontroller based project. After getting the level, we have to proceed. Indicates water. There are three, four cases. For one case, if level is zero, then main indicate level will be one. If level is not zero, we have to wait. 3,000 uh, millisecond which is uh, equal to approximately 3 seconds 
about three seconds. First uh, condition, first uh, state is the when the level is zero, when there is no water in the water tank, and then level will be one. Process processing. We have to give the only one to the level. If level is four, a water tank is filled. Then bulb will be remains on. Bulb will be remains on continuously. If the water level is not zero nor one, if water level is not four, then we have to blink the bulb. Or you then we have used for uh, loop. After x start from one. X value is less than equal to one, uh, less than equal to the level x plus plus. So bulb will remain on for seven hundred seven hundred millisecond in zero point seven second, which is equal to about zero point seven second. It will remain on. If all zero point seven second, it will remain off. So it will be uh, the PC will be in this loop uh, until the value of x becomes uh, equal to the level. For example, if level is uh, one, then it will blink once. It will start from one, on, off, plus plus becomes two. It will become wrong. If x uh, if uh, level is two. Then x star upon 1, 1 times it will be executed. x plus plus becomes 2, 2 times it will be executed. When x becomes 3, the condition becomes wrong. And the PC, PC with the program control becomes out of this loop. So this way we will we have arranged the C codes for uh, water level indicator only using only one bulb. Uh, characteristics of this project is we are using one bulb and the level indicator and we are passing very 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 low current for very short interval of time in the, in the water so it is very safe and very accurate water level project, um, water level indicator so thank you for watching our video